Hi friends, we're here today to talk about the Nuna Rev. It's the newest car seat from Nuna. It's pretty great. Um, I'm certainly excited about it. And it's got all of the things that we kind of have uh, come to know and love about Nuna. So it's gonna have a really nice, easy to use, adjustable harness height. We also have a fully removable interior cushions for babies as little as five pounds. Um, we also have the ability to tuck the little harness piece over to the side with an actual pocket. On the exec, which is their uh, all-in-one, they have this as a magnet on the side. I'm not quite as fond of that. I do prefer a little pocket, so I think that that's nice. And then I am a huge fan of their harnesses being incredibly easy to tighten and consistently easy to loosen. Um, especially with how many grandparents are helping with car seats, it's really nice when the car seats are always consistently simple for anybody with the finger work. Now, getting into what makes this guy special, as you saw, the seat rotates. It has revolution. Um, this is not necessarily new technology. There have been rotating car seats in the past, and I don't mean in the past year. I mean, in my career, I've sold, um, there was one from Combi called the Zeus 360. Orbit also made a rotating toddler car seat. So um, it's certainly awesome to see the technology being mainstreamed and, mainstreamed and coming back for parents. Um, the thing I will say about this guy is the installation is incredibly simple and straightforward, which is one thing with Nuna that's always been the case. I'm gonna tilt the seat here slightly and show the plate which opens up. That's gonna be typical with the Nuna install. You have that with both the uh, Raba and the exec. Additionally, we've got the top tether here. I'm gonna set that part up first loosely as the instructions indicate. So just setting that up, hooking it up. And we still have a little bit of slack there. Um, and now I'm gonna take my car seat belt. Why am I using the seat belt and not using latch? Latch on this seat will work as long as your child is 30 pounds or under. The seat itself will hold 40 pounds, both forward and rear facing. So my thought is that if I have to eventually install it with the seat belt for the last 10 pounds, probably makes the most sense to just initially install it that way. So I'm gonna leave the latches where they are and go ahead and utilize the seat belt because then once it's installed, I never have to worry about it again. The nice thing about this is going to be it shows how the belt works. It has indications of where it needs to go. And the coolest part is just the lap belt portion needs to run through the belt plate. At this point, I have a little bit of a advantage here over a real installation because I'm actually able to completely walk around the seat. But you're gonna pull on this belt to tighten it as tight as it can go. And then you're gonna want to hang on to it and close this. It's gonna make it very tight. At that point, we're gonna tuck the shoulder belt behind this bad boy. And then it's very important for the final step, we make sure that we take our switchable locking retractor and pull it all the way out to make sure uh, that we've turned on the true tensioner on our seatbelt and there won't be any loose uh, ends there. So everything nice and tight. And then the seat rotates for a backward facing kiddo. In California, the law is they should remain rear facing till at least two years old. What I think the biggest celebration point of this seat is that I've heard some argument from some customers and from some other store owners that it, it doesn't encourage best practice, which is going to be leaving kids rear facing as long as the car seat holds. I would argue 40 pounds to 50 pounds with most car seats for extended rear facing. I don't see huge quantities of children coming in and still rear facing at that point. I think realistically a 40 pound weight capacity on a rear facing seat is incredible, especially considering that now when I want to rear face my kids for longer, taking a heavy three or four year old out of this seat with the kid facing me at the door is 50 million times easier than lifting a big heavy body sideways in and out and then trying to buckle them in from the side versus 
directly in front of my face. I can also tighten it more efficiently. I can double check all of the pieces as well, much more efficiently because it's directly in front of my face. There's no ambiguity. It's just a cleaner uh, way to take the kid in and out of the seat. So for me, um, I'm not uh, pushed off by the lower rear and forward facing weight capacity. For me, it's a non-issue because a forward facing kid almost always needs a combination seat, which is a five point harness to a booster. I rarely see children move from a five point harness convertible seat directly into a booster seat. Most kids are not ready for that transition. So um, I think this is an awesome option for parents that want that feature of the rotation, which would be me. Um, and honestly, both this color and the black, absolutely beautiful. I think Nuna's really done a nice job with this. Um, for me, it's just a winner.